Evening, I'm Lori Tucker. And I'm Bo Williams. Well, tonight we begin with a symbolic tribute at Austin East Magnet High School's graduation ceremony. The school honored three students who should have graduated with the class of 2022, but were instead shot and killed. And these are names you've heard before. Stanley Freeman Jr. was killed in February 2021 while he was leaving school. Two months later, Anthony Thompson Jr. was shot and killed by a Knoxville police officer during a confrontation in a school bathroom. John Killian Mathis, uh, known as John John, died in an August shooting at Lonsdale Homes. Six on your size, Elizabeth Kubel was there as all three were recognized at this morning's graduation ceremony and brings us more tonight. The 2022 graduates of Austin East Magnet High School. You may now your cap. The class of 2022 celebrating a well-earned achievement. These young people came through a pandemic. These young people from the class of 22 have endured some things that I don't think we have ever imagined, but they've come through shining bright, and I'm so proud of them. Three empty chairs on the field serve as proof of some of the heartache they have faced. Each one dedicated to the teens who died in shootings last year. Their impact was also felt in speeches by fellow classmates and administrators. Not only because we lost one classmate, but two. In the end, this tragedy brought us closer together as a class, but then within a couple of months, we were going through it all over again. We love them, we miss them, and they are forever in our hearts. And in a special tribute. Stanley Freeman Jr., John John Mathis, and Anthony Thompson Jr.'s families were all called to the field and handed a memorial keepsake box made in their honor. I think it's a really good feeling to know that he's still included, just to know that he's included and they, that when they say never forgotten, they really mean never forgotten, that he's never forgotten. And that was clear today. Through the moments and memories, these three will always live on with the class of 2022. Reporting at Austin East, I'm Elizabeth Kubel, WATE 6, on your side. Elizabeth, thank you. One other note, Austin East principal told us a little over 150 graduates crossed the stage and received their diplomas this morning.